Rotomede continuous casting machine is a metal melting and casting machine particularly appropriate to small and medium-sized users of non-ferrous alloys. It's used to produce rod and strip from scrap and ingot for further processing. This can be by cold rolling, machining, forging, drawing or cold heading according to the alloy and end use. Finished products include water and gas fittings, electrical and electronic components, automotive parts, coinage, non-ferrous wire and many general engineering products. The benefits of the Rotomede machine are 1. Reduced raw material costs, which may be well over 20%. 2. Reduced stock levels. 3. Recycling of stock arising, which would otherwise be wasted. 4. Investment payback, often in less than 12 months. In a period of increased competitiveness and escalating costs of raw materials, that means the Rotomede continuous casting machine can make a considerable contribution to profitability. That contribution has been recognized by customers as varied as Sumitomo Electric Industries Limited and Nippon Mining Company in Japan, George Kent in Malaysia, Allied Corporation in America, customers in India and manufacturers of water fittings in the United Kingdom. The Rotomede continuous casting furnace automatically melts and casts non-ferrous alloys into rods, strips, sections or hollow bar. These may be either cut into straight lengths or formed into coils for further downstream processing. It is designed to operate within a normal factory and not only within a foundry environment. A proportion of the feedstock is scrap and swarf or chips from machining operations. This means that you get a closed circuit flow of material within the factory as you are recycling scrap at very high efficiency. You are saving raw materials and also saving handling and saving time. The casting machine may be used as an integrated melting and casting unit, as in this instance, where cold metal is fed directly to the crucible, melted and cast in a single machine. Alternatively, a separate melting furnace may be arranged to provide a molten metal feed to the continuous casting machine. Output, when used as an integrated melting and casting machine, ranges from 60 to 250 kilograms per hour, according to model. With a separate melting furnace, output would be substantially increased. This particular machine is being used to produce brass wire rod, but it would also be appropriate for a company using large volumes of other non-ferrous materials in a wide variety of shapes and sections. Rod withdrawal is by twin, fully articulated pinch rolls, driven by DC variable speed geared motor. Withdrawal mode is controlled by electronic pulsar unit, giving wide permutations of withdrawal sequence, including pushback facility and pulse override. The surface of the as-cast rod is adequate for many uses. However, if a higher grade of finish is required, the rod may be passed through a die which shaves the surface smooth. The shaving process developed by Rotomede is based on the use of two or more stationary dies through which the as-cast bar is pulled. Rotomede also supplies multiple rod down coilers to be used with the continuous casting machines. These are positioned behind the rod withdrawal and are supplied in matched right and left hand pairs. Coils are formed by adjustable bending rolls and may be up to two tons in weight. Where strip is produced, a special up coiler is supplied. The coil is formed by a hydraulically operated shoe moving intermittently in phase with the casting pulse sequence. Full instrumentation includes alarm mode monitoring, emergency backup systems, microprocessor temperature regulation, and fully automatic solid state thyristor power control, ensuring very smooth and accurate power settings. The furnace power comes from a mains transformer supplied with each machine and is matched to the primary voltage prevailing. The secondary power output is at a low 20 volts rating, contributing to safety in operation. The continuous casting machine itself comprises a robust fabricated steel shell mounted on a channel section base frame. 
The shell has removable sides, and insulation is by high temperature rated refractory materials to the latest low thermal mass design to achieve maximum heat efficiency. Once removed, this exposes the graphite crucible and resistance heating element chain. This makes easy inspection and planned maintenance of the high temperature components of the machine. Graphite crucibles are self-draining and are expected to have a working life of one to two years. Where graphite would be attacked by aggressive elements, it is also possible to provide crucible linings or crucibles in other materials, including silicon carbide and clay graphite. The casting dies are supplied as two-part assemblies comprising water jacket or probe cooler systems and graphite casting die. A very important feature is the use of inert gas, normally nitrogen. An inert gas atmosphere is maintained in the machine to inhibit oxidation of critical internal furnace components. Inert gas is also used, applied to the die and elsewhere as necessary, as a protective cover for molten metal. This is important since the inert gas assists in the process of refining. Rotamede is licensed to supply the world patented Timex copper probe cooling system, which makes the production of hollow work much easier. The Rotamede Training School is probably the only one in the world solely concerned with continuous casting. The course of instruction in the operation, application and installation of Rotamede machines is organized by consultant Dr. Robert Wilson, together with Dr. Robert Johnson, who are authors of a number of papers on metallurgy and casting. Close liaison exists between Rotamede and the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the College of Technology in Dundee. The expertise of the staff in the department is used in the support work of the training school. When a Rotamede customer's technician comes here, he learns how to take charge of a casting installation and how to obtain maximum performance from it. In general, that is the Rotamede continuous casting machine. You will want more detailed information, which is available in our literature. There are, though, some important characteristics of the process which should be noted, since they are directly relevant to the machine's ability to produce profit for its users. Simple and safe to operate. Traditional casting was both dirty and dangerous. The Rotamede team has developed a machine which can be used in a clean environment, and the required voltages are low. Economic to run. Just as it takes up very little space, so it uses relatively little power. The heating chamber is fully lined to give high thermal efficiency and lower melting and casting costs. Consistent. Production can be both consistent and of high quality and can be maintained even within the limits demanded by gold and silversmiths. Compact. The space requirement is approximately six meters by nine meters. Versatile. The crucible capacities range from 10 kilograms to 750 kilograms. Easy to service. All the consumable parts are standard items obtainable in markets throughout the world. Simple recovery from power failure. Should there be a power failure while there is metal in the crucible, the metal can go cold and be reheated once power has been restored without detriment to production or damage to the machine. The objective of the Rotamede continuous casting process is to increase your company's profits by eliminating waste of expensive raw materials. To achieve this objective, Rotamede provides a complete service. The highly cost-effective machine, customized for your requirements, operative training, installation and backup. All developed by Rotamede to make your operations more efficient and more profitable.
The Rotomead Company designs and manufactures a family of continuous casting machines with output capacities ranging from a few kilograms to over half a ton per hour. This program concentrates on the smallest members of the Rotomead family, the RMJ vertical continuous casting machine and the RMJ horizontal tabletop model. There are many users of Rotomead continuous casting machines. The Royal Mints of Britain and Canada use them to produce coinage strip. Precious metals companies use the RMJ to produce gold and silver sections for the jewellery industry. In electronics, Rotomead machines provide gold tin alloy sections in the manufacture of semiconductors. In dentistry, the RMJ has transformed production, manufacturing complex alloys of silver, palladium and gold with global applications. Research and development organizations in both education and commerce use the RMJ to investigate new formulations and for the production of new alloys and profiles. Why do these and many other companies use Rotomead? They find that Rotomead offers low capital cost, advanced design, technical service support and substantial savings in production costs. The traditional method of static casting involves melting and pouring of metal into ingot moulds, with the reheating and rolling of the ingots, often with interstage annealing, to produce a semi-finished product. With the Rotomead continuous casting process, many of these intermediate stages are eliminated, resulting in significant cost savings. The most obvious feature of the Rotomead RMJ continuous casting machine is its small size, making it essentially a one-man operation. Its compact design, less than two meters by one meter, means that no access is needed on two of the sides, so that the machine can be tucked into the corner of a room. Instrumentation, furnace controls, and power pack are all housed in the body of the machine to provide easy access. The Rotomead process, being totally enclosed, is safer to operate, and it produces a quality product, free from inclusions and porosity, and with a good surface finish. High-intensity graphite elements heat the RMJ, which is electrically powered. This is the case with all members of the Rotomead range of continuous casting machines. This simple design has advantages of lower capital and maintenance costs, as well as giving complete furnace thermal stability. The heating of the furnace may be controlled either manually or automatically by programmable controller. The RMJ may be heated from cold to 1200 degrees centigrade in less than one hour. For the standard machine, maximum operating temperature is 1600 degrees centigrade, though special purpose higher temperature units are also available. Accurate temperature control of melting and casting offer the option of repeating casting parameters from batch to batch. The heart of the RMJ machine is the casting die. It is this die's unique fabrication which embodies the technological advance in metal casting, producing rods, strips, hollows and profiles to customer specifications. Production may be in discrete batches or in continuous operation, with the crucible being topped up with ingot, scrap or virgin material regularly. Crucibles are designed to be totally self-draining, ensuring complete metal recovery. Accurate control of metal composition is achieved by thorough mixing of the molten metal. Inert gas is bubbled through the melt, ensuring homogeneous composition along the length of the cast material. Here, a gold alloy strip is being cast at dimensions 15 mm by 2 mm. The withdrawal pulse sequence can clearly be observed. Strip dimension can be up to 115 mm in width. Rods can also be produced down to as little as 3 mm in diameter. Withdrawal of the cast section is by articulated pinch roll mechanism driven by a DC variable speed motor. A solid state electronic pulse sequence controller offers versatile and accurate control of the casting sequence, including a pushback option.
Where a crucible change between casting runs is necessary, the machine may be cooled down within an hour, the steel top and insulation removed, exposing the graphite crucible. This is then removed and the heating element system checked for evidence of erosion. The machine can then be rebuilt and under the heat for the next run within a mere 15 minutes. While horizontal casting has advantages in most applications, in the production of tube products, vertical casting has a special place. Gravitational forces act uniformly around the circumference of the outer and inner walls of the tube as it forms and cools, thus ensuring a homogeneous metallurgical structure and achieving a high degree of concentricity. Hollow sections in the diameter range of 19 mm to 65 mm can be produced. Minimal wall thickness is 3 mm or 10% of outer diameter, whichever is the greater. At the conclusion of the casting run, the crucible is totally drained and the cast hollow section is completed without any spear or wastage. Rotomead maintains a stock of essential spares, including graphite parts, all of which are machined in Rotomead's own machine shops. A variety of graphite crucibles, casting dies and heating elements are stocked for customer needs and speedy delivery. Crucible capacities may range from less than one kilogram up to a maximum of 40 kilograms of gold. Rotomead places a great emphasis on effective training of customers' personnel. The Rotomead Training School runs courses in March and October of every year when instruction is given in the operation and maintenance of the machines, including the making of graphite parts and casting dies. In addition, Rotomead engineers are available to offer further training at the customer's factory during the commissioning of the unit. Rotomead's customer service department is available throughout the year for consultation on die design and operational procedures. It is in regular contact with existing customers, keeping them up to date and informed of all the latest technological developments. Yes, well, we can move that. We can put that in the Low capital cost, advanced design, technical service support and substantial savings in production costs. Rotomy, the RMJ.
Okay.
temperature going up, Robin? Yeah. You lose the initial two or three when that seal goes, uh, which freezes off and tends to sort of self heal. On the two occasions where the seal's gone, it's, uh,